As the year winds down, there's still a window of opportunity to review your finances and make a few strategic moves that can potentially lower your taxes. And if you're 50 or above, you're at a pivotal stage where a few tactical moves can give a significant boost to your retirement. Here are nine tax planning strategies to consider before year end. In 2023, if you're 50 or older, you have the ability to make catch-up contributions to your retirement accounts. For 401ks, 403bs, most 457 plans, and of course, the federal government's thrift savings plan, you're allowed to contribute an additional $6,500 on top of the standard $20,500 limit. For IRAs, the catch-up contribution is an extra $1,000 above the $6,000 limit for this year. If you expect to have a relatively high income year, then you may want to consider directing more of your December paycheck into these tax-deferred accounts. Not only will you increase your savings, you will lower your taxes as well. If you have both a traditional IRA and a Roth IRA, well, you need to consider which account to prioritize. Traditional accounts provide a tax deduction in the current year, where Roth accounts offer tax-free growth and withdrawals in retirement. If you think you might be in a higher tax bracket in retirement, contributing to a Roth may be more beneficial, but this is typically less common. Review your after-tax accounts for any investments that may have lost value this year. By selling these investments at a loss, you can offset any other capital gains you may have realized. If your losses exceed your gains, you can deduct up to $3,000 against other income with any remaining losses carried forward to future years. If you're over age 72, then don't forget to take your annual required minimum distribution, or RMD, from your retirement accounts. There's a heavy penalty if you don't. If you haven't started your RMDs yet, it's important to start thinking about your strategy now. The time between retirement and your RMD age typically presents an opportunity to make strategic Roth IRA conversions at a lower tax rate. This will reduce the amount that you have in those tax deferred accounts and could potentially lower your lifetime tax bill pretty significantly. If you're currently enrolled in a high deductible health care plan, then you're likely eligible to contribute to a health savings account, or HSA. For 2023, the contribution limits are $3,650 for individual coverage and $7,300 for family coverage, with an additional $1,000 catch-up contribution for those who are 55 and older. HSAs offer triple tax benefits, tax-deductible contributions, tax-free growth, and tax-free withdrawals for qualified medical expenses. There's still time to make a contribution in December. And of course, you may still have the ability to change to a high deductible plan in 2024 through open enrollment, allowing you access to an HSA next year. However, please consider your health insurance needs first before choosing a high deductible plan. If your itemized deductions are close to the standard deduction threshold, then consider bunching deductible expenses into one year to surpass the standard deduction and lower your tax bill. These could include charitable contributions, medical expenses, property taxes, or state and local taxes. You may be able to push your deductions over the standard deduction limit. Taking things a step further with itemized deductions, those who are charitably inclined may want to consider a donor-advised fund before year-end. If you're having a high income year, you can receive a charitable deduction for anything you contribute to a donor advised fund for this year's taxes. Once you've put money into a donor advised fund, it acts as sort of a charitable trust. You can invest those contributions and distribute them over time well into the future. It doesn't have to happen this year. In addition to donor advised funds, anyone who's 70 and a half or older can make a Qualified Charitable Contribution, or QCD, from an IRA directly to a qualified charity. The QCD can satisfy your required minimum distribution for the year and is not included in taxable income. Even if you haven't reached RMD age yet, planning for QCDs can benefit future tax years for those who are charitably inclined. If you expect your tax rate to be higher in retirement, or if you're currently in your retirement gap years, you may want to convert a portion of your traditional IRA to a Roth IRA. 
Now, you'll pay taxes on the amount that you convert at your current tax rate, but enjoy tax-free growth and withdrawals later. However, this does increase your taxable income for the year, so it's important to assess the potential impact on your current tax bracket. Typically, you'll want to convert an amount that will take you up to the top of your current tax bracket, but no further. If you're approaching Social Security eligibility, now's the time to start thinking about how your benefits will impact your taxes. Up to 85% of Social Security benefits can be taxable depending on your income level. To minimize the taxes on your benefits, think about spreading your income out across multiple years of your retirement if you can, and utilizing Roth accounts where needed. However, there are a lot of factors at play here. Roth conversions may increase your taxable income and also increase your IRMA penalties. Speaking of Roth conversions, delaying your Social Security benefits will also increase the number of gap years between retirement and RMD age, allowing you more tax planning opportunities. The end of the year is a great time to review your estate plan. Ensure that your wills, trust, financial powers of attorney, and advanced directives for health care are up to date. Get them redone every 10 years or so at the very latest. And don't forget about your beneficiary designations for your retirement accounts and life insurance policies. Often, those don't get updated very often as well. The end of the year is a great time to take stock of your financial health and prepare for the new year. With these nine strategies, you can maximize your tax efficiency and set yourself up for a more comfortable retirement. Over time, these seemingly small tactical moves can potentially lower your lifetime tax bill by hundreds of thousands of dollars. So don't let this year-end opportunity pass you by. Of course, always consult with your tax professional and financial advisor to ensure these strategies are right for your personal circumstances. Now, while we want to reduce your lifetime tax bill as much as possible, you do still want to pay what you owe. If you've ever wondered what happens if you don't pay your taxes, then check out this video to find out more. I'll see you there.